Um, these are the two horses we've got left at the sanctuary at the moment. Uh, this is Robbie, this is Silver here. Um, Robbie uses a show horse actually, and then he develops um, sarcoids, which are the small growths that um, erupt over the body. And because of that, he basically was deemed not worthy anymore. Uh, it wasn't perfect. So his fate would have been to be destroyed, um, but animals in need to be on. Um, and again, you know, he, like the pigs and the other animals here, he's a complete individual, he can be a bit of a sod. Uh, he loves his food, but he, and he's also sort of quite keen to make sure that he gets it before anybody else. Um, him and Silver again, uh, was used for, uh, for riding, but no longer wanted to put, have anyone on his back. And, and so it was, again, it was not economically worthwhile to his owners, and so again he would have been put down and animals indeed not stepped in. Um, and it's, the tragedy is that these animals are not property; they're not just here to be exploited. They are, you know, they have personalities and emotions of their own, and rights of their own that we should expect above and beyond that what people think they can make out of them. But again, here at animals in need, you know, they, they get a chance to be what they are, and they are like two arguing teenagers. They wind each other up all day some days and, and then sort of split up, have an argument, ten minutes later they're back together again and they'll go through the whole process again. And Robbie's very sort of um, argumentative in a way. Silver kind of just wants to get on with everything and um, just plod along with his life. And again, totally different both horses but totally different personalities. You know, they're all they're all individual. Um, and it's only when you come to a place like animals in need and you get to meet the animals every day and see them and work with them that you begin to appreciate just how different they are and just how important it is to recognise that because it's about them as individuals rather than just another thing and you only get to know that when you spend time with them and take the time to get to know them and you find out how different they are and um, I'd be quite honest before I came here I was a bit afraid of them I don't mind saying I'm a bit scared of them, but these two have really um, sort of taken that fear away. And now I, uh, you know, I'm quite happy around them. I've been around them. And now I've got to know them. And uh, they make me laugh. And they make me laugh a lot because some, some days they will just bicker and argue all day long. And then the next day, uh, you know, you can't part them. So it's, uh, it's just like any other family, any other human family. They have their differences and their off days and then they sort of make up again and yeah they're just really really